morning guys we're in the car and off to Zaragoza our Spanish road trip continues currently traveling through the Montsec region of Spain which is bordered by mountains which used to be the old old border between Christian and Muslim Spain which means that we're driving past a lot of old churches and a lot of old castles on hills it's actually quite nice Ready to be your best animated self, Jimmy. Give me some time. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, guys, there was loads of really good little castles and churches in this region. And on the drive to Zaragoza, which is where we wanted, on the way to, and we decided just to stop off at one just to check it out, and it's pretty cool. There's an amazing view from up there. We're all perched upon hilltops, and we've just found a little ruined castle. Just imagine being a 12th century king looking at your lands. Can't you, James? He loves this stuff. James loves this stuff. Cut to slow mo of James walking down a hill. We do not have much time here in Zaragoza, so we're going to take you on a very fast tour of some of the places that you need to visit if you're stopping by. Our first stop is the Basilica de Nuestra Señora de Pilar. I don't know if I have said that right or if that is indeed the name of it, but it is um, the Basilica of Our Lady of the Pillar. And apparently Virgin Mary climbed a pillar here. <laughs> she ascended to heaven <laughs> on a pillar. <laughs> she was just climbing pillars in Spain. The good thing about this place, we think, is that you can get to the top. The streets of Zaragoza are very tangly, hard to navigate, and I want to get a bird's eye view of the place. Also, some beautiful roofs, so I want to check that out. Okay, we made it. It's echoey. Unfortunately, enclosed by glass. It's a bit of a glass house, but the view is cool. The second place on the list is this place, Palais Al Kafaria, an imposing Christian fortress on the outside, an inviting Islamic abode on the inside. It looks like a fort on the outside, but it's definitely a beautiful palace on the inside. It's a prime example of Islamic architecture here in Spain, and it's from the 11th century when this, or Zaragoza, was actually the home of an Islamic state. So we're in El Tubo, which is a series of streets which contain some fantastic tapas restaurants, or so we're told. We're not going to say that before we actually taste some freaking tapas and let you know. get it. We are at Malon and we are having churros and chocolate and there's a lot of churros and a lot of chocolate and Jack wants to drink it which will make him hyper so we're not going to do that. Zaragoza is famous for its chocolate because it's one of the first places in Europe where monks use cocoa to make chocolate. So that's what we're here to do, eat chocolate. Alright guys, that is it from us today. We're just loving the view of the Basilica from a bridge nearby at night time. It's very romantic. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a little like. If you would like to see more, make sure you've subscribed because this trip is not yet over. I'm very tired, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.